I'm sure they'll get it. Oh, 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 come okay. on. Come on. You go. guys got this. There we go. So it's saying right now that we are part of the fifth fleet of like a research division that's okay. coming to this new continent to investigate what's going on. Okay. So we just got on a boat and we are heading out from wherever we were before to this new continent with our other rookies that are with us. All right. I don't want to talk too much, though. I mean, there we go. See the hunter showing off their slinger. Every hunter's coming with a slinger now, so. That looks good. Oh, man. They always put a lot of effort into the food. It's making me hungry. There we go. Yeah, so... Seems like we're meeting some of the other members that we're on the boat with heading to the new continent. So. It seems like this guy is another monster hunter. Potential monster hunter. Always asking for our name. Man, I think this jumps right into the character creator. Oh, that's cool. So it's okay. So seamless into the beginning sequence. Like that's that. nice. That's nice. And I, don't know, I, don't, I know you've played a lot of Monster Hunter, but in case anybody here that's listening is new to it, I mean, there's usually a pretty in-depth character creation, and I assume this one is going to be even more so. That's right. Oh, that's what just right explaining now. right now. That's right. There are a lot of different options this time around. So much that today, we're not going to take the time with it just because it's going to take so much time to try and show off that. So I think maybe later on during TGS they might go into this more. But for right now, I think we're just going to hit the preset here. Looks like we hit the mat in 10 years Ooh, yeah, preset. look at that. But more like now. Nah. You got to grow your hair out a bit, I think. But. Sure. <laughs> so yeah, and there's there's more options besides even just the face. You can change out your beginning equipment and stuff like that here in this screen. Oh, well, what, what we got a name? What we got a name? Karubi, all right. Okay. So, little uh, tip about Tokuda-san here. He loves meat. Like, it is almost the only thing he will eat. Vegetables he's scared of. So, naming his characters after meat really fits with his personality. I, I really like this. Okay, and we got oh, Harami. Har oh, okay, all right. So, he named every single one of the characters after different cuts of meat. All right, this makes sense. This fits with his personality. So, as you can see, you can also customize your Palico partner with you. Once again, there's a lot going on there. We're not going to hit on that today. Yeah, and it sounds like there's some pretty in-depth character creation. They were mentioning just now that you can also customize the wrinkles. No, even that far. That's hardcore. And there we go, our made character right in the game. Right, just like that in the cutscene, huh? Yeah. And, okay. Oh, there's our palico that we also made. And it looks like even if you have wrinkles and stuff on the face, that is just totally... Yeah, it, seem, it seems like everything that you added into your character is going to be reflected in-game and all animated and all the facial inside animations. of it. Nice. Nice, no stony face characters. Got that nice smile, that matte smile. Man, I'm getting thirsty now too, hungry and thirsty. Oh, look at this. Okay, I didn't know this about the story. So, apparently it's been 40 years since they first found this new continent. All right. Okay. Okay. So, for the, the research, Division here. It, so, it sounds like every hunter, every hunter has a partner. paired up with a handler. Okay. 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 Everyone's got their own handler. So now. who's our? Right, it looks like okay. this is our it's handler. It's probably gonna be our handler. Some nice goggles. Oh. Okay. Maybe we're getting close. She said. Nice. Getting close to the new continent. Yeah. You know, at least our palico partner 
can do a greeting properly. That was nice and polite. I like it. Good manners, good manners. Good manners. Well. Oh, the food. No. <laughs> Alright, what's going on? This seems dangerous. Really, man? Yes. Yes, it does. I mean, maybe it seems like they're stuck in a storm or something. Oh, okay, never mind. What is this? The is the continent <laughs> is the continent just like rising out of the water? What's I don't know. Is this like a volcano or something? Okay, so we're gonna run to the front of the boat. It seems we are very outgoing adventurers. So, Fair. me personally, actually, this kind of seems like this seems like it's actually a reference to the gameplay and how you can climb walls and stuff. That's true. Oh, very good point. Oh no, no, what? We just we spent time creating that palico. <laughs> I think you'll be okay. Oh, we're going down. Ooh. Me personally, I would try to jump off the boat a little bit sooner. But I'm not a go-getter adventurer, so. But you are a monster hunter, Troy. Just thanks, like this thanks, guy. Man. Thanks, man. You're really nice. And this guy, it looks to me like they're just jumping right into the gameplay here. Oh, look at that. Okay, okay. so this is going to function like a little tutorial going on then. Yeah. We're like on top of like this volcano, look that island that kind of just popped out yeah. of the ground, right? Yeah, 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 it looks like it. And okay, so Ryoza-san's break it down for us saying that it's just to show off the base movement in the game, introduce it slowly. Yeah. Okay, sense. there's our boat. Yeah, the movement tutorial. Okay, because we don't have any weapons yet, right? Not that I can see. Okay, so I guess we wouldn't do the weapon Bare tutorial fists. yet. <laughs> That's true. Okay, yeah, it's, it's nice that it kind of just flows seamlessly into it. You know, you feel part of the story this way. Oh, no. Okay. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Really? No. Safe. Everybody on stage impressed with just how good the game looks. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks like we just went from that cutscene straight into gameplay, and you can't even notice the difference, so. Oh, this is mountain moving? It seems like we're getting more vertical. Seems kind of dangerous. I don't, we don't even have a life gauge yet. Don't even have a life gauge yet. I, like, I mean, like they're saying, this is all just tutorial right now. We're just learning. Okay, here's the climbing mechanic and stuff like that. So, okay. so it's all for show then. I mean, it, it, it's an introduction of how to, you know, get around in the game. Okay. I think that's definitely necessary. Yeah, they've been explaining. It sounds like they put a lot of effort into tutorials, including the weapon tutorials, oh, nice, so that nice. anybody. You know, Who's we got new to the series, 14 different in weapon types worry. in the game, so I mean, <laughs> trying to get to know all those. Well, to me, there's only one, though, that's right. I, I know, you only use the insect life, man. That's all you need. I'm trying to talk to you about different weapons, you're just like, wait, what? There's more weapons in this game? I, uh... Whoa, okay. So is this, is this this island that kind of popped up out of the ground? Okay, so it seems like we're going to grab on to the, the wyvern that are flying around here. Oh, cool. Oh, nice, with the slinger. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. All right. Catch him. Catch him. Can't lose our partner yet. Nice. A hunter with the save. So this, I don't know, this big island just came out of nowhere. Oh, that, no way. That doesn't look just like an island. So, no, way. it's moving. So, that's... <coughs> so, oh, no way. So, this is going to be like one of those huge monsters that you get to climb on and, I don't know, possibly okay, encounter okay. in the game. So, I guess we'll see more I of that guy later on. I we're going to see more on. of that. I mean, if yeah. it's in the intro sequence. So, here we are. Oh, okay. This, this is the area I know and love. Ancient forest. Um, if you've watched any of the promotion material we put out till now, it's all been mostly about the ancient forest, so... Okay, and it sounds like you're going to start out the game in the ancient forest. It though. seems like it. I mean, we were on the boat heading to that main base, Estella. But, yeah. After getting sidetracked here, it looks like... You know, Tokuda san holding it down again. Um, so he's going to play around in exploration mode. So one of the nice new things about here in Monster Hunter World is you don't have to pick up a quest to go out into the field. Nice, nice. So if I want to go collect stuff. You can just stuff. go around the world as it is and just go around, investigate, like you said, collect 
different materials. Okay. Oh, you know, every good hunter is gonna start off with a meal. Luckily, our handler loves food. <laughs> nice. So. I wish I could cook like yeah. that. <laughs> I've messed up cup ramen before. Really? Yeah. Um, and they've been explaining that the handler, again, because we're paired up with our own handler, right? The handler's out on the field, right? Yep. So, yeah, since we're playing in adventure mode, if you notice in the top left corner there, there's, there's no timer. Usually when you nice. pick up a no quest limits. in Monster Hunter, you got a time limit to do it in. Okay. This, it's free roam. Oh, this is one of the, one of the like locals here. Locals, like one of the... And, and so, they're explaining that, yeah, you can get different information from the locals. Yeah, and they show are, up randomly yeah. all around. Once again, I mean, Monster Hunter World, everything has a mind of its own, especially the monsters, the people. So, I mean, sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. Oh, okay, sometimes they're not there, huh? Whoa. Okay. I feel like it. I mean, even the guys there, they're surprised to find that guy, so. They seem to be. So, all right, let's, let's, so as you can see, our scout flies letting us know what's in the area. Okay, maybe here's some items you can interact with. Nice. I think oh. Tokuda-san, what's he up to? Is he going to go fishing? Oh, There's we're going fish fishing. There's the fishing rod. All right. Oh, this is cool. So you can see the fish in the water there. Nice. Oh, it's a little different because in Monster Hunter, it used to be you would just go to a fishing point. You fish. And right, right. It. It but here, I think it's just anywhere you see a fish, you can probably just throw that rod out on the ground if you want to. Obviously, not going to catch it anything, but... Advanced Monster Hunter fishing. Oh, sand fishing. Well, they'll probably be sand fishing too. Yeah, that'd be very cool. <laughs> oh, okay, and, and they're saying so different fish react differently to the lure. Okay. So, like, sometimes you can throw it out and you see some fish are just grabbing onto it, but maybe other fish that you want to catch, they see that lure and they're just like, oh, oh, no, I don't want that here. Oh, okay, all right. So they're yeah. not going to fall for that. So you got to find different ways to trick the fish. Huh. I wonder how you do that. I you know how you do that? Because I'm not good at fishing. I tried it when I was a kid and. and yeah, I don't got the patience. For it. And it looks like okay. The, all right, looks like they found some Rathian footprints. Rathian. All right, so yeah, one of the major things in Monster Hunter World is finding tracks of the monsters in the area. Okay. Of your target specifically. Track them there. It looks like that was an older footprint. So yeah, I think as tracks get a little bit older, they don't give you as much information, obviously, because they've been there for a while. That makes sense. So you moved. got you got the footprints, and you know monsters also mark their territory. We saw those scratches there. Oh. Oh, cool. All right, opening oh, nice. up the map. So, yeah, since this is our first time, I, this area is called the Wild Spire Waste. Okay. So, uh, this is our first time in this area, so as you we adventure through it, that map starts filling in that information oh. for the area for us. Nice. Okay. Oh, okay, and now Tokusan's explaining that the map is lit up red in a certain area indicating okay. that there is a large monster somewhere in okay that cool cool and then the scout flies are are I think, reacting yeah now see, too, right? we picked up enough tracks uh -huh. now that the scout flies are letting us know okay the monster probably in this direction or more tracks are in this direction okay. so as we pick up more evidence of the monster the, these scout flies are helping us out okay cool. pick up the scent and we okay right there. Then, uh, <laughs> right then here we go all right so yeah fans of the series can rejoice you know You've seen Rathlos Rod, now we got Rathian. The pair is back. All right. The king and queen of dragons. I, Looks like Tokuda-san is hiding in the brush here. Okay, yeah, right. He already engaged combat, which I don't know if it's the smartest move, but... Well, that's okay. But okay, nice, Rathian nice. Lost him, you notice how the mini-map just turned purple there? Yeah, yeah, what's that mean? So that means that we are now hidden from the monster. Okay. The monster is... We are no longer in direct combat with him. Okay. So he's gonna... Uh, yeah, yeah. He's gonna make a few distractions here, try and draw... Luring him with sound, Rathian. Like. Sound of the slinger. Right? Nice, nice. Oh, oh up the tree. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> oh, baby, it's rodeo time. Oh, man, that voice just makes it even better. Oh, I love, this is why I love the insect Dude, because yeah. you can ride monsters yeah, like dude. this. He just, he just ran up on those mushrooms on the tree and That's jumped on. Th because, as we've explained before in, in previous PR stuff, you can, run, you can use the environment all kinds of Yeah, there's so right? many different oh, environments. And you know things you can use to assist you in your hunt of these monsters. That's right. And nice. We got a few system. cheap shots in. We're going nice. going down. As you can see, we've changed the rodeo system. Now you can move between different parts of the monster. We've yep. knocked him down. So yeah. Tokuda's on go nuts, baby. Miss, you know, Tokuda's a huge fan of the dual blades. No. It looks to me like, depending on where he hits, the color of the numbers, the, the hit point numbers, right, are right, right, there, right. What's up so, with that? So like, so the the monsters, you know, they have more points of their body that are more resistant to damage than their weak points. So like the head and the tail here on this Rathian. You notice the, the numbers turn orange when you're hitting a weaker point there. You're going to be doing more damage with your weapons. Okay. So it's a good idea to probably focus in on those to really put on the hurt. 
Okay. Um, I mean, those locations are going to change up between monsters, obviously. Right. Not everyone's going to have the same weak point. Right. Like, so, for instance, for Rathian here, her head and tail are softer, right? Right, right. Okay, so they're going to take more damage. And it sounds like for less effective areas, it's gray numbers are going to show. Yeah, yeah, they're going to be whiter or gray. Okay, cool. And, I mean, if, you know, you're a huge fan of the series and, you know, you're, you like the classics, you know, I don't want numbers, you can turn them off. Nice, nice. Personally, options. I options are always a nice thing. I need as much information as I can get. Yeah. I'm not as good of a player as you, so, well. That's okay. All right, so, okay, we got we got the, the word from Yozo-san here saying, scolding Toka to there. Yeah. We don't, we don't need to be fighting. This is not the objective here. We're not showing this off. We want to show off more of the area and the game. Okay. But I think, you know, it's just in Tokusan's blood. He just, he's got to fight these monsters. So. Uh, he has been hunting monsters for a while, this guy. Okay, it looks like we found some wyverns in the area. Nice. Okay, so he shot it, gave it a little startle. And just like in that beginning sequence that you saw earlier, we're going to oh, hook on with our slinger and have it take us to a new area. So, so you can use these guys for traversal then? Yeah, so I mean, once again, it's interacting with that environment in Monster Hunter World. And there's so many different ways and little shortcuts that you can find and things you can do. So here we're just using this wyvern to take a shortcut to a completely different area of the map. Nice. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, all right. Well, oh, this, this is this a looks new cool. area in the map then. So this right here is, like I said earlier, the wild spire waste. So this this swamp area okay. is made from the runoff of the water, that clean water that's flowing out of the ancient forest. Okay. So if you just walk from the ancient forest, you notice we were fighting Rathian earlier in like a little forest area. So yeah. That's the lower part okay. of the ancient of forest. The so they just flow into each other. Okay, cool. These seamless fields. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right? No more loading screens in between. It looks like they opened up the map and they found some new plants. Okay. Oh, cool. So when you find plants then, it registers to the map. Right, then, right. Huh? Okay. And it seems like you can set the pin on the map. Okay. So your scout flies will lead you to whatever Just you set like, the pin on. Nice. Okay, cool. That's okay. Convenient. So we pick up the item. Okay, and then it's, it's off the map now. Okay, okay. But... It'll once it regenerates, it'll right. show up. Then on we the can map come again, back right? and we can set that pin again. Have our scout flies lead us directly there. Right there. And oh. what's nice about you can set these pins on anything. That'd be so nice when trying to craft, into, craft oh, dude. weapons. Oh, well, it's, it's great. You know, you can just go around in you know this exploration mode. Oh, poop! Oh, that's fun. Nice. That was a big and pile I think of poop. they were also saying that you can also set pins on other stuff like different hunters. So you can, you can set on hunters. You can okay. set on monsters. That way you you know. And the scout flies will just take you there. These scout flies are really helping us out because we have these massive fields now a yep. lot larger than they've ever been yep. and you know there's a lot of you know verticality of these and different paths to take so having these scout flies really help us out let's know where we're going to go it's just made take a little stress out that is convenient so here we, we okay we got some tracks of a new monster here cool. okay so oh real son saying this is gonna be the first time we're gonna be showing off this monster. nice all right. all right all right i'm getting excited i hope it's huge um no, no, they were just saying it is not large. <laughs> Maybe it has a hugely nice personality. I don't That is not a huge monster. Oh, did you just see it? Did you just see it? <laughs> that looks to me like it was more mid sized. Like <laughs> I'm disappointed. I think even mid sized is being a little generous. But <laughs> So where'd it go? Where'd it go? Hold on, okay, there it is. All right. Oh, okay, so this one, I think we've actually shown this one in a bit of the PR materials up to now. Okay. This is Kuruyaku. Kuruyaku. So is it's what's he doing? Is he eating? Like a, yeah, it's eating an egg right now. Okay. So it loves eggs. Oh, wow. <laughs> it just... <laughs> Okay, well, I guess he was done. All right, with fair that. enough. I'm done. Uh, you know, I'm, maybe I'm gonna try eating like that. You know, it's be the first time. I've seen these eggs. Wow, yeah. Come on, a little more. Grace oh man, Tokusan just going to town on him. It looks like he can use those arms. Those are some really interesting arms, right? Yeah. Like, like so I mean, he was holding that egg earlier. So I, I guess he's very dexterous with those hands and those arms that he's got. Okay. Those feathers coming off it. Okay. So what's he gonna do? I don't know. He seems like he's just like pecking us. Kind of like yep, a okay, there you go. A little bit like a like raptor dodo. dodo. Yeah, raptor dodo. <laughs> First, I think it's kind of cool. But it's cute, it's cute. Oh, the, okay, so Fujioka-san's telling us right now it's not really that strong. What's he getting? Oh, nice, okay. So he's got a rock. Oh, oh he, just, he just beat our palico with a rock. Oh, look at this. And, and now you're, he, that increases his defense. Oh, nice. So he's blocking with it. Oh, look at that. Okay. You can oh, he's wrapped it. Like that. So I guess probably if you hit him enough, 
He's going to drop it. Yeah, it sounds like Fujioka has been explaining that you can also use a slinger to make him drop it as well. Yeah, that slinger is just so versatile. You can do so many different things with that. I, I'm really excited to see what people come up with with that. Though. Okay. And again, Tokusan uh, running away. Oh, Tokusan, oh, he's giving us a lowdown. He's saying, so, Kuriaku, Kuriaku when it picks up the, the rock, yeah. it actually gets aggressive. Normally, it's kind of like a weak monster and shies away from a fight, but when it picks up the rock, it gets a, a little pride in its step and it like, starts going out of its way to be aggressive. Kind of like being at home with my wife. That's not bad. All right, well, we're moving away. Okay. And, oh, okay. It sounds like they want to go back to base. Gonna head back to camp. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. You guys. You can't fast travel while you're in battle. Yep. So we have to make sure, get out of that fight that we're just in. Notice how, okay. The mini map there in the bottom left just turned white, letting us know we're out of combat. Okay. Nice. That's what that, that is. So then we can hop on our wyvern and go back to base. Now they keep, they keep, they keep hiding the loading Why is that? I, I don't know. Okay, but okay, it looks like we're going to... Okay, so we're going to pick up a quest now. Okay. So, as we were saying before, that handler is with us at all times now. So this... Our handler is the one who gives us the quest. So we don't have to go back to the main base, nice, okay. back to Estella to pick the quest. Okay, cool. You know, you, you can be out in adventure mode, stop back at base and be like, you know what? I want to do something to help people out. Nice. It sounds like... I know I've played they a few games. Don't want to spoil anybody. Well, Fair enough. I'm playing them. It's, it's the it's kind of them to make sure that they're not spoiling it for people. All right. So our handler giving us a lowdown about probably where Nergiante is going to be during this quest. Once again, marking that in red, just giving us a general location. What do you think? What do you think the internet's going to call Nergigante? Because they tend to they tend to kind of come up with names that that aren't oh, dude, related I, I, to the I monsters. You know. See, I don't want to give any material. I want to see what they come up with naturally. So I mean, I'd like to think that for this guy, he's going to have kind of a rougher personality. So Matt. Okay. We'll call, we'll call it Matt. Oh, Matt? No. <laughs> I, I was thinking something a little more entertaining, though. It kind of had that pepper look going on. So, I mean, it's true. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're finding a few now, tracks. The scout flies have changed color. What's up with that? So, the scout flies, you know, it's normally they're green, red when we're in combat, and they hide. Okay. But this blue color is really, it lets us know that, hey, watch out, there is a powerful monster in the area. And here he is. So, Nergi oh, is this guy is no joke. Oh, look at this guy. Jeez, no joke. So yeah, that blue is just letting us know that, hey, um, you're in for some trouble. Okay. <laughs> oh That's just powerful, seeing that from the front oh, there. Hardcore. So... Nergiante is a super aggressive monster. Okay. He looks like it. And honestly, I mean, as good as Tokuna-san is at this game, he's showing up with some <laughs> beginning level equipment. Oh, okay, okay. So, I don't... <laughs> It's probably out of the I said it. I said it. I'm sorry. Tokusan, like I love you, but... Tokusan's explaining that. So for this guy, you can attack the different parts of his body to break them, but he also breaks them as right, he attacks right. you. His attacks are just so powerful that he starts breaking off different pieces of his body. So you see those spikes that are white right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means those are like young spikes. They just started coming in. Either they have bro been broken recently by him or by someone attacking him. Okay. Okay. And so what happens is those are going to grow back. Okay. And then if they're left, they're going to turn black and black, like blacker and blacker, and then just get hard and turn into this spiky armor that's going to protect your gigante oh, all man. over. All right, so you'll want to try to break those spikes while so they're yeah, white. So, yeah, you see on the, the right front leg there, uh -huh. all the spikes are broken off, which is good. That's what we want, because oh, man. if he starts growing those spikes, oh, oh and they're just they're sprouting back. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. They're already back on that front right leg, if you look close at it. Oh, man. So oh, look at that. Nergiante regenerates fast. So, as, as Fujioka-san's laying it down for us. Break them, break them, man. You really want to focus and make sure... On the left sure leg, look, they're already black. They're already black. Oh, God. 
That's hardcore. And so once they get hard like that, you're going to start bouncing off, and it's going to be a lot harder to do damage to him. So you really have to manage it. Oh, trying with the Paratoad. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, they got him. Oh, nice. Go get him. Go get him. Once again, using that environment. Go break those horns. But see how in the front, how he's bouncing off on him. Oh, man. Because they're already too tough. They're already, but the white ones, the young, the young spikes, fresh regeneration spikes, we can still break those. All right, knock him down. Go get him. Now's your chance, dude. Oh, he's going demon mode. So yeah, as uh, Fujioko san saying, it's going to be really important to try and manage those spikes on Nergiante. Okay, cool. Man, try and keep those in a weak state so he doesn't get stronger. Because he's one of those monsters, if you leave him alone, he's just going to get more powerful. Okay, all right, so you want to you be aggressive. So he's aggressive, right. and he's making you aggressive. Okay, wow. All right, so Togo-san says he's, he's going to try and lead Nergiante to a different era. Maybe he's going to use the environment oh God. somewhere else. <laughs> It looks like those attacks are really going to hurt. Yeah. Get out of there, Togedasan. Okay, so you see he's breaking those spikes when he... Oh! <laughs> no way. Run away, run away. See, look, that was that was one hit. Oh, man. He's out of his league. He's I'm not going to really take too I'm many sorry. hits like that. Okay. Although he's not, I mean, he must be showing off to an extent because he's not really trying to attack the monster at all. Dude, and he is the director of the game, right? No, well, I mean, like he said, I think he's trying to lead Nergiante. Like in previous gameplays, he leads monsters to these different areas to use oh, the environment, yeah, like traps right. and stuff like okay. that. Because so that's going to be a really important part of Monster Hunter World. Oh, come oh. on. Oh. All right, well, well. All right, here we go. Responding back at camp. Oh, and Yozo cutting it now. <laughs> 